right, guys, let's go ahead and open up today's vlog here. We are into the evening hours here in the Kreiner household tonight. And mommy just got home from work. Daddy's been home with the kids all day. Shout out to all the parents that have working jobs because both me and Heather work and I feel like I accomplished in the last eight hours. Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. I, I cleaned a half a room in the last eight hours. Serenity, I think you're the one that needs to open this package. That? Oh, it's Teddy. Oh, well, what's this? What is this? That, that's my, 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 I felt, and those are the things that, that's your hand when you're told. Oh, okay. It's so, like, this goes on your... It, it's a wow. pillow. I, I know, it's a pillow. That's something we can put up on your bed. Is that how it's done? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Talking about Ollie here. We are officially at the seven month mark. So by the time you're viewing this, <laughs> he's well past that seven month mark. Mommy, mommy did some groceries. This is what we would call a fill in run. Getting Ollie some more oatmeal. Is this more oatmeal? This is more oatmeal. Oh, yeah. He probably won't like these. He didn't, he really didn't like green beans when I tried to give him green beans. So we're gonna see how he does with peas. He'll still have to eat it, because in my house you eat what you're given. So we'll try peas. Oh, See what's hiding out behind this couch? Yeah? It could be scary. It could be scary. And nerves. And nerves. Yeah, and junk. And junk? Yeah. It's a scary thing. Just having pasta for dinner. I always resort to pasta when I don't know what to make. And today was an awfully rough day at work. So I said, you know what? We're just gonna do it easy. Our water is at a good simmer. Now we'll add salt and it'll boil really quickly because salt the ions in salt actually conduct electricity a lot quicker. That's not gonna be enough pasta. So let's add some of this box. Italian seasoning is um, like parsley, basil, and marjoram, but I I prefer parsley, basil, and oregano because oregano is very strong and it has a very similar flavoring to marjoram. So rather than just buying Italian seasoning, which also has salt in it, by the way, if you get the prepackaged stuff, you just add those three and you're basically good to go. And now we add regular old Alfredo sauce because 
making your own Alfredo sauce is so time consuming and I don't have time for that. <laughs> you need no other salt. Don't go for the salt shaker. And Serenity likes this pasta. It's bow tie pasta, but she does not like veggies. So sometimes you can sneak a veg or two in here. And some chicken. Sometimes you can't. Good job. You got all your teeth? Uh-huh. Rinse your toothbrush off. Water. Good job. Yeah. Suddenly the door flew open. Merry Christmas, said Scrooge's nephew Fred. He offered Scrooge a Christmas wreath and then invited his uncle to Christmas dinner. Bah humbug, Scrooge snorted, snatching the wreath from Fred and throwing it into the fire. Now good day to you, sir. There is work to be done. Oh, to spend Christmas Day at home, Cratchit thought as he jumped down from his, school, from his stool. Remember, you are in even earlier, the day after, and don't forget my laundry, Scrooge snapped. Cratchit nodded as he snatched up a bag of laundry. Merry Christmas, he called as he left. Scrooge looked, locked up the office and hurried home. As he reached the front door, he gasped in surprise as the face on the door knocker. Am I seeing things? No, it couldn't be Jacob Marley. Scrooge gasped as he stared at the door. Suddenly, the face of the door called softly, Scrooge. Scary. Mm -hmm. Terrified, Scrooge yanked open the door and ran inside, slammed it shut behind him. Ah, Scrooge screamed as he ran into his bedroom, bolted the door firmly shut, though he doubted that a locked door could keep a ghost out. Scrooge sank into his chair and waited. There was a knock at the door. To his surprise, Scrooge was disturbed by a polite knock at his bedroom door before the ghost floated in. Scrooge, don't you recognize your old friend? I was your partner, Jacob Marley. Suddenly, the ghost slipped on Scrooge's cane, knocked over the chair, and landed on top of it. A deafening thud shook the room as a heavy chest fell on the floor next to them. Scrooge and the ghost lay in a heap on the floor. The real Jacob Marley would never be so clumsy, said Scrooge. Don't mock me, boomed the ghost. If I am clumsy, it is because these chains I must always carry with me. What about the chest? Let me take a look. Stop, thundered the ghost, pointing at Scrooge. The chest is heavier than all the treasure in the world. All my miserable deeds are locked in here, Scrooge, and chained to me forever. I can never be free.